Marrakesh. Welcome to Marrakesh. This is the fourth largest city in Morocco, nicknamed the Red City. It's a major cultural, religious, and trading center. Today, we're going to visit the Majorel Gardens, the Baha'i Palace, and many more sites. Let's go. There's our group. We're taking a morning tour of Marrakesh. Look at all these gardens. The Qutubiyah Mosque is an iconic landmark in Marrakesh. The minaret is 70 meters high. This is inside the Baha'i Palace in Marrakesh. The Bahia Palace dates back to the 19th century, and the gardens capture the essence of Islamic and Moroccan style. The interior features intricate details which aim to draw the eye up towards the ceiling. There is a two-acre garden with rooms opening onto courtyards with turquoise black and green floors. One of the most impressive rooms features stunning stained glass, red, blue, and green, a perfect place to take photos. The heartbeat of Marrakesh is undoubtedly the souks, or markets, of the Medina in the Old City. The biggest in all of Morocco, they are a honeycomb of alleyways where all the five senses are alive. Here, merchants sell everything from tea, incense, coffee, and desserts. Hello, Marrakesh, baby. Now we head to the center of Marrakesh to the El Badi Palace, one of the most beautiful and historic sites built in the 16th century. These are the city walls. They're all red, the color of Marrakesh. There's a cool little cafe over here if you have a line. The El Badi Palace consists of richly decorated rooms. Behold. Inside the El Badi Palace, we find an artisan making the Moroccan tiles. Well, we just bought argan oil and we're waiting for the bus now. But a lot of people are trying to sell us random knives and various other things. Now, time to eat. We're heading to a traditional Moroccan lunch at a restaurant called El Baraka Restaurant. Here we watch a local cooking demonstration where the chef is making tagine with couscous. To make couscous from scratch, she mixes semolina with flour. The result is a sort of sand-grained pasta. Then she adds spices such as ginger, turmeric, and paprika in saffron. Then she adds five vegetables such as squash, pumpkin, and potato and stews it in a clay pot called a tagine. To make tagine requires patience and time, sometimes up to four hours. Thank you. The end product is savory and delicious. But I want to hear from you. Have you tried Moroccan food? Comment below. I'm walking around Jama El Ifna. This is the square and UNESCO site here. There's tons of snake charmers, all kinds of activities. It's like an open circus. Now time to head to one of the main highlights of Marrakesh, the Majorel Gardens. This is the Yves Saint Laurent building and gardens. This is the cactus section. 
The gardens are an absolute must-see in Marrakesh. The property used to be owned by fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent and his partner, Pierre Berger, who purchased it in the 1980s. Yves Saint Laurent first went to Morocco in 1966 and instantly fell in love with the place. It became his home away from home and creative retreat. This is the Yves Saint Laurent house. These are the cactus gardens. This was Yves Saint Laurent's house and he lived here in Marrakesh with his partner. And now that is a Berber museum. Yves Saint Laurent and Berger collected Berber art and admired the tribal aesthetic. The Berber museum features the traditional dress of the Berber people. And outside in the garden, you can see the memorial for Yves Saint Laurent and his partner, Pierre Berger. I feel like I'm in Japan. The gardens are a vivid and enchanting retreat from the bustling city. Today, they draw over 700,000 visitors. The building has Moorish charm with a hint of art deco and astonishingly vibrant primary colors that make for the perfect photographs. In fact, the workers here at the property will help you take photos if you need a photographer. This is the outside of the Yves Saint Laurent building, the museum. We hope that you enjoyed this tour of Marrakesh. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because coming up next is Marrakesh Nightlife.